Am I the asshole for asking my fiancé to make his parents get up early? I, F32, am getting married in less than a week to my soon-to-be husband, M34. On the day itself, I'm planning on getting ready with a few friends at home. Currently we have our in-laws visiting from another country, so they're staying at our house. My mill got injured and has trouble walking lately, so we ended up making her and Phil stay in our bedroom that's downstairs, while we are currently sleeping in the guest bedroom upstairs. It's not a big problem, but I have to admit that I'm not fond of not having access to my own room and clean clothes when I want to. I'm very independent, so being dependent on other people's schedules has always bothered me. I don't need a lot of sleep. So I go to bed late and early. My fiancé and his parents are opposites they go to bed early and like to sleep in. So I am waiting for around 4-5 hours every day to get my clean clothes, because by the time I start thinking about getting clean clothes for the next day, they've already gone to bed. It is extremely hard for me to walk in on someone sleeping and I just hate to do it. It's also partly because I feel like I'm a guest in my own house and I need to walk on tiptoes to not disturb anyone. They've only been staying here for about a, a week, so I'll survive their stay, but I'm starting to get get stressed out because of the wedding. My fiancé has also been gone for the past four days. He had to travel for his wedding suit and then he had his bachelor party. So I've had to do all wedding-related stuff, clean up after his parents, play a good host and also file taxes and do my job. It's a bit much and on top of that, I've recently found out that I'm nine weeks pregnant and I'm suffering from terrible exhaustion and morning sickness, all day. I feel myself being more irritable because I'm constantly sick, nauseous. So I'm not sure if my hormones are all whack because I'm pregnant and I'm truly being unreasonable, or if I'm actually justified in my feelings. So here's where I am the potential asshole. I spoke to my fiancé yesterday and I asked him to tell his parents to rise early on the day of the wedding, so I can have access to my things and not have to worry about waiting for them for several hours. He called me selfish and said that I couldn't ask that of people. I hate to pull the, but it's our wedding day, card. But I feel like I'm not being unreasonable asking them to do this for my stress levels. So, am I the asshole for wanting my mill and Phil to get up early on the wedding day, so I will have full access to my own bedroom and things without feeling like I'm not allowed in there? Edit. Okay, so I think I've been a bit unclear. I'm currently frustrated because of the clothing issues, but I readily admit that it's due to my own bad planning. There's no excuse, I've just been swamped and I'm frustrated at myself for this. I provided this context because I thought this plus my hormones, nausea might be clouding my judgment. What I'm actually asking for is to have my master bathroom on the morning of the wedding day. In order to save money on makeup and hair, I have two good friends helping me get ready the day of the wedding. We would therefore need the space to fit three people and the upstairs bathroom only fits one person. We would start around 8.30ish, because I have to leave the house around 12. As things currently are, I have enough space in the guest bathroom for my daily routine, because I don't wear makeup, thank you Accutane, on normal days and don't need to do much to my hair other than brush and braid it. So I'm not asking for the space until Saturday morning and I'm not blaming my in-laws for me allowing them to stay in our bedroom. They are wonderful people, but they have lived incredibly hard lives and this is their first vacation in 20 plus years for family, economic and health-related reasons, which is why I have been hesitant to be anything but accommodating towards them. I hope this clears things up a bit. Colon closing parenthesis dot. Second edit. I am not on Accutane currently and haven't been for more than six years. Accutane is extremely potent and very dangerous to take if you're trying to become pregnant or if you are pregnant. If you have a doctor that doesn't test you for pregnancy regularly while you're on Accutane, then you should really get a second opinion. Colon closing parenthesis. Info. Why can you not simply collect clothes and things you'll need in the morning the day before and put it in the guest room you're staying in? I'm confused. Not the asshole. They shouldn't even need to be asked, let alone on your wedding day. But why don't you move your things for the wedding day to the guest room? I know you shouldn't have to, but why isn't that an option? Not the asshole at all. Your fiancé is being an asshole by creating this unnecessary stress on your wedding day. It is absolutely normal for brides to get ready from about 6 a.m. and the mill and Phil should absolutely be willing to accommodate this. Is there any chance they could stay in a hotel the night before so you could have the master to yourself the day of the wedding? Adults needing to sleep until 10.30 a.m. is not normal. You should not be having this stress on your wedding day, it's totally unfair. I'm concerned that your fiancé called you selfish. You're not selfish, the request is reasonable. 
If he won't speak to them, you should just kindly let your in-laws know you'll need access to the room at 7 or 8 or whatever. Will the in-laws grumble about this? Be prepared to be firm in your assertion that you will be using the room. I'd try to be nice about it. Make coffee so it's ready when you kick them out. Lol. And hopefully they will in turn make you breakfast. See to your needs on your big day. But not the asshole. Can't they sleep on the guest room that evening? Am I the asshole for telling my mom to stop checking my money usage? Hello. First time writing on Reddit. None of my family members have read it so I'll be fine using this account. Some backstory, my, 18f. Parents have been divorced for many years, 8 years to be in fact, but my father, 49m, wasn't in my life until 4 years ago. He paid for my education, while my mom, 49f, paid for everything else. However, that changed when he started giving money for her to make my life better and help make bills more payable. He earns lots of money and lives in Dubai. He sends around $1,400 each month. My mom uses this to buy clothes for me and her and pays the bills. She also gets $1,400 from the government as she cannot work. The problem is the money I get. As soon as I turned 18, she requested to get full control on my bank account from the government, they granted her wish. So, I get around $400 from going to school, I pay around $300 to my mom and keep $100. Out of the $100, I pay for the phone bill, both of ours, and pay off some debt of hers and I get left with around $14 to spend on myself. With the $14, I pay for stuff that makes me happy, example, books and stuff for my PC setup and figurines. By the end of the month, I save a bit of money and by that time, I get next month's money and already know how much I plan on saving it. Two days ago, me and my mother had an argument about my money usage, she apparently went through my bank statements and saw the money I used for the month, complaining I'm not using it on anything useful. She starts hurling insults at me for using the money and keeps telling my that my money usage affects her economy. I asked her how, no response. She continues hurling insults at me, and I say, stop looking through my bank statements, the $14 is the money I get, let me use it how I please. She didn't take too kindly to that. She started getting aggressive with me, to the point where I locked myself in my room with the dog. Now, I'm getting calls from my family saying I shouldn't talk back to my mother and the whole earful. How do I get my mother to understand that she has to stop looking at my money usage? Edit. If this helps in any case, my mother has anger issues and has gone to therapy for these issues, she's had them since the divorce, left her broken. As for my bank, they've caused me problems before, calling me to ask why there's no rent payments going from my account and why I keep moving money from the account my dad sends money on. I might switch soon. Also, my mother has been using the bank I use for way longer. I wouldn't be surprised if she knows a few people and the people calling me are associated with her. I'm going to switch my account as soon as I get a job, which should be soon. I could ask my father to keep the money he sends? Or send a tiny amount? Edit 2. As for my age, I am 18. I turned 18 in December of 2022. Before then I had no control over the pocket money I would get etc. OFC there are things I need to learn and what not. And my mother has complained about my money usage since I was 15. Danish is also my third language, so I'm not rlly good at the language, my education is in English. It had been in English my whole life, no joke. OFC I appreciate the help you guys are giving me. I will update as soon as I switch banks or tell my dad. Not the asshole. Open your own bank account, ask to receive the money there from now on, and plan on leaving her place. Info either you're making this story up or your mom, family are playing shady and illegal games with your money, all $400 should be going to you, and you need to talk to the police and social services. Which is it? I would have liked money to go to school. Maybe state where you live in order to give context. However, in most countries, once you turn 18 you are considered an adult about bank accounts and no one can take money out of it without your consent. What? First of all, why would you be the asshole in this situation? Second of all, how does your mom still have access? Third $14. She gets mad because of how you use $14. Wait, hole up, Scandinavia, so. Krona? Is that what currency you use? Because if it's like $14 USD equivalent, that's a ticket to a movie and some popcorn, or maybe one time you get to eat out around here. If she gets mad because you spend less than an hour's worth of minimum wage in the United States on whatever, she's got a screw loose. Start withdrawing cash and spend it as you want. 
she can't track cash. And you are 18. Wherever you are, are you not a legal adult? Why did the government give your mom control over your account? Are you under conservatorship or something? Not the asshole. 